and nothing seemed to stop him. A serial robber finally gets caught open-handed. Good evening. His latest arrest was strange enough. Now we know the man APD says bit an officer's thumb earlier this year is now tied to an odd string of robberies. That's right, and it looks like this career criminal could be in line to spend the rest of his life behind bars. News 13's Alex Goldsmith joins us live at San Pedro and Lomas with that story. Alex. Dean Jessica, one of the worst mistakes a criminal can make is returned to the scene of a crime. Well, APD says David Thomas did just that here at the intersection of San Pedro and Lomas, not just once, but three times. 54-year-old David Savoy Thomas is a man with a long history with police. His latest, APD says Thomas bit an officer's thumb during a November arrest. But that's not what might end his criminal career. According to a criminal complaint, in 2010, someone walked into a McDonald's near San Pedro and Lomas and stole 60 bucks from the register. Police didn't know it was Thomas until this year when they matched his prints with a palm print left behind on a door. In August, police say he struck again across the street at this family dollar. This time he held a clerk at knife point and got away with $120. Less than a week later, investigators say he came back to the same store to try it again. No luck this time, but he wasn't done yet. After holding up this family dollar twice in one week, APD says Thomas decided to go somewhere else, three doors down to this check and go just two months later. According to a criminal complaint, Thomas stormed into the store, put his gun on the counter and demanded money. After waiting 10 minutes for the safe to open, the employee handed over the cash, a $3,700 haul for Thomas. Now he's being federally indicted for those four robberies and it could lead to some serious prison time. How serious could that sentence be? Well, each of those federal counts carries a maximum of up to 20 years in prison. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you. Thomas is familiar with the federal system. Online records show he was sentenced to five years behind bars in the 90s for holding up two banks here in Albuquerque.